what's up guys so as you can see i have straight hair i know it's like so crazy i'm still not used to it yet but i've had my hair straight for like a few weeks now usually when i get my hair straight i keep it straight because like i want to get my money's worth in one and for two i don't get my hair straight in that often so i just want to enjoy it for a little bit the last time i got my hair straightened was literally like a year ago almost a year ago in last august and now i have it straight again and it's grown a lot it's like you can't really tell because like i said it's not as straight as it was when i first got it done because i got you know a little it reverted a little bit because it's so hot here so since it's straight i figured and my hair has grown a lot i figured that i wanted to do a length check and i wanted to give you guys some tips um to tell you how you can retain some of your length and grow your hair a little bit longer because as i said like since the last time that i got my hair um straightened my hair has grown a lot so i just want to share like some tips with you guys it's going to be really simple because my hair routine is like not that much at all it's just really simple i like to keep it simple so yeah i'm just going to start off by doing a length check and i have handy dandy what's this thing called <laughs> a handy dandy measuring tape now so okay so i'll start with the back of my hair I should probably get a clip <laughs> be right back okay so I'm gonna start with the back I'll get like the very like nape part of my hair so this should probably be like the shortest part I think maybe I don't know yeah and let me just pin this off I'm gonna take it and hold it up <laughs> to my scalp So, the very nape part of my hair is like 13, no, 12 and 3 quarters inches long. And it goes like, on my body. It goes to like right here. So, I guess I'm going to take just a random piece. And it might all be the same, honestly. I don't really know. That looks kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's try this. I think I just pulled something in my hair. So that's uh, almost 13 and a half inches. I'm pretty sure the back is the same all throughout. Okay. I don't remember what the other side, what I got. But that's like um, 11 and 3 quarters inches. Uh, but it looks like it comes to like the same. Or no, that might be shorter. Oh, that's 15 inches. Did I do this right? <laughs> okay, I think it's the same. So I saw like 14 inches last time, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Wait. 15. Okay, so it's the same. It's pretty much the same. Like 15 inches on both sides. And now I'm going to do my bang area which is not really that short oh. wow this is like the longest part 16 and a half inches does that even make sense <laughs> my bang is really long though oh my gosh yeah oh my gosh the front part of my hair is crazy long i wonder why huh that's something on average, my hair is about like 15 inches long all around. You might as well say some parts are a little bit shorter, some parts are a little bit longer. But I'm just going to say 14, 15 inches all around. Yeah, my sister has pet birds. Sorry. <laughs> And so I'm going to give you guys some tips that like I use to help myself retain length. I'm not really going to say hair growth because your hair is probably going reg 
growing like regardless of what you're doing to it the reason that you're not able to see the growth is because your hair is not retaining the length so that's what these tips are going to be about how to retain length so the first tip that I'm going to give you guys is to stay away from heat as much as you can. I'm not going to tell you how much you should stay away from heat because that just depends on your hair and like what your hair can take. Like I said, I've straightened my hair about like once a year. And I might switch that up. I might do it a little bit more often just to see if my hair can handle it. But I would probably never go more than like three or four times a year straightening my hair because I know that my hair would not be able to handle that and I would have a lot of damage and a lot of breakage and that's not what I want. My second tip is, I feel like a lot of people don't do this, but I feel like it's less is more. You want to do as little to your hair as possible. You don't always want to have your hands in your hair. You don't always want to have a, a new hairstyle every single day. Like, because that's just doing too much to your hair if you're constantly changing your hairstyle and putting your hands and fingers and combs and all these crazy different products and heat tools in your hair, then your hair is not going to be able to grow because that's just like a lot of friction in your hair. It's going to make your hair dry out and just brittle and it's just going to break off and you're not going to be able to see any of the length that you are retaining. And so, like... You should be careful with the tools that you put in your hair too. Like I said, like try to stay away from flat irons. And I also personally try to stay away from combs and brushes because that causes a lot of breakage. My hair is really thick. So I mean like while it's straight, I can comb through it like without causing a lot of breakage. But while my hair is in its natural state, I try not to comb it too much. Usually what I do is a uh, finger, finger, can't even talk today. What I usually do is finger detangle my hair while I'm in the shower. I do that while it's wet because while your hair is wet, it's easier to get the tangles out rather than while it's dry. Because it's like if you think about like a plant, when is a plant going to break more while it's like, oh, like soft and wet or like while and like it's getting its water or while the plant is like dry and hard, then you'll be able to snap it. And with your hair, it's kind of the same thing too. So like I finger detangle my hair while my hair is wet. And like sometimes you could comb through it in the shower while it's wet. That's what you want to do. But like I said, I try not to do that too much because my hair just cannot handle that a lot. And... My next tip is low manipulation styles and protective styles. So I feel I feel like a lot of people get these two mixed up. So having your hair in a braid out is not a protective style. Why? Because your the ends of your hair your hair is out. So if you're any style where your hair is out, that is not a protective style. You need to have like your ends tucked away or like your hair braided up for it to be considered a protective style. So vines, braids, twists. Um, any type of weave where like you have your hair braided up and like a weave over it like that's a protective style and that's really good for your hair because like you're not like I said you're not messing with it you're not touching it too much so as long as you like moisturize your hair put it in a protective style and just leave it alone for a couple of days or however long and make sure that your hair is clean then it's gonna have a that's the perfect environment for your hair to grow so I would recommend doing that and uh, low manipulation styles are styles that you do to your hair where like you don't have to do it every day so like for me that's like braid outs I know a lot of people do twist outs and bantu knots I don't really do those too much I stick with braid outs because that's what works for me so I'll braid my moisturize my hair braid it up and then like sometimes I'll leave the braids in for a few days to let it dry that's the protective style part and then once I take it out that's a low manipulation style part because while my hair is in a braid out I'm not like I don't have to comb it or like do a bunch of different stuff to it literally like I just like wear it out during the day and at night put it up in a bun on top of my head and a pineapple and then that's it low manipulation and I would also recommend to find a style that works for you something that you can always go to so like you're not always just trying to figure out what to do with your hair that was a big problem that I had like when I first went natural I was just uh, so confused I was like always just trying to stretch my hair and get my length and like that was like really hard to do because I was like trying to stretch my hair without heat and I was like constantly combing it out trying to get like that blowout look and I was just doing the most but then I found braid outs and that's something that works for me and so I stick to it I mean it's like you can switch it up with braid outs, do it like bigger or smaller, 
do it different type of ways, part it differently, wear it up, wear it down. So like, I mean, it's not like you're going to look the same every day, but just find something that works for your hair. And once you find it, just stick to it and like, just don't try to do the most. The next thing I want to talk about is products. Like I said, I do, I don't do too much with my hair when it comes to products. Like I find that like most products that you buy at the store, like they were not working for my hair at all. Like I would watch a bunch of YouTube videos. Like I would spend just so much time watching YouTube videos, how to grow long hair. And I would see someone with long hair and they would be using this product. So then I would buy it for my hair and like, okay, well, like, okay, so they use this product and work for them. So, and they got long hair. So if I use this product, I'll get long hair. But correlation doesn't always lead to causation i think that's how you say it i don't know so what was i talking about but yeah just because some a product works for someone else's hair doesn't mean that it's going to work for you and i mean products aren't really going to grow your hair products can help you retain length by keeping your hair moisturized but it's not really going to help your hair grow too much and so for me, I find that like my hair likes really natural things. So like I make my own shampoo. So I make my own shampoo using African black soap and like I make my own organic oil mixes and I use apple cider vinegar and different things in my hair. And like I don't use too many like store bought products. Every now and again, I'll, I'll put a store bought conditioner in my hair, but I don't even really like do that too often because my hair just that just dries my hair out and my hair just doesn't like that stuff. So you have to find what works for you, and I keep it really simple. I don't like try to like oh like I don't have like a styling product and a gel and a this and a this and a that. Like literally, like I use like probably like three products, like when I'm washing my hair and like I'm done because that's all my hair really needs. So my last tip when it comes to just growing your hair out long and healthy is just patience. You need to have patience with your hair because if you're thinking about it too much, like a wash pot never boils. If you're thinking about your hair too much and you're spending all of your time watching natural hair videos on YouTube, like how am I going to grow my hair longer and this, that, and the third thing, then your hair is not going to grow because you're going to spend too much time thinking about it and trying out all this different crazy stuff in your hair. Your hands are always going to be in your head and it's just not good. So just like focus on other things. Just like put your hair up in a protective style. Make sure it's moisturized and just leave it alone and forget about it. And before you know it, your hair is going to be long and healthy and beautiful and everything that you ever dreamed it to be. So, yeah, that's pretty much all that I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed. I'm so close to 500. Th I was going to say 500,000 subscribers. I am so close to 500 subscribers. So, if you're watching this right now, please subscribe. I will be doing a... Hopefully, I will be doing a back to school giveaway. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you can stay tuned to that. And like I said, like I won't be wearing my hair. I don't know if I said that, but I won't be wearing my hair straight for too much longer. So I'm also going to be doing a how to revert a 4C hair uh, video really soon. And hopefully my hair does revert and I didn't get any heat damage. If you want to see that, it's going to be coming up very soon on my channel. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button and press the little bell so that you'll get notified every time that I post a video. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and bye. I'm on the right side. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on inches. This is inches too. I'm so confused. Transfer it to another finger. I'll give you three tries. So like, so like I gotta spin it and <laughs> on one I'm finger. Confused. So like, say for instance, you start spinning it like on one finger, right? Mm -hmm. Then you have to transfer it to another finger somehow. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try. I'll try. Okay. Alright, I'll transfer it. Does that count? Does that count? <laughs> no. no. That's too easy. Yeah, I can't be like that. You gotta do it with one hand. She's like, without the thumb. Wow. No thumb. Okay, no thumb. That's impossible.